Hi everyone, welcome to Goodlands Market. Great place to come as a day trip if you're traveling in the north. There's so much to see and you can experience a real taste of the culture. If you're living here in Mauritius or staying for any longer term, this is a great place to come and get your fruits and vegetables on a budget. So, come with me, we'll show you around. It has been here for a while and they are building a new one. A lot of the vegetables you're going to find here are actually locally produced. So this is more of a local place than when they get the imported stuff. Nice coriander and mint. So there we go. So I think what you have to do is walk around a bit to see what the prices are and then decide which one is the cheapest one. 15 a pound or 20. It is quite chaotic here. It is a Saturday and that's the busiest day. But there are vegetables all over the place here and lots of other things you can get. These carrots are even cheaper. And there, the little ones you can actually get for 5 rupees a pound. Okay, so tomatoes, 15 rupees a pound. Or oh, there's some over there that you can scratch to for 10 rupees a pound only. That's a good price. In the supermarket, it's a lot more. And the price goes down as the time goes on, but you risk missing out if you come too late. It might be taro leaf. Not 100% sure, you'll have to let me know. So here's a chili seller. What they do is they gather the chilies in a group like that and that's the price for that group. So you pick which group you want, same with the ginger. So 10 rupees for that whole pile of ginger. It is huge, like I said, it is very, very big. It carries on for a long way down there. We'll walk down there and you actually get a vision of how big it is. Wow! This is a, a little dried shrimp. It smells incredible. Oh wow, they actually have these. They look beautiful. And you can get three for 100 rupees. That's actually pretty cheap. English cucumbers, 10 rupees. Wow. You got your imported fruits and local ones as well. There is a, a smell in the air that I recognize, but there must be salted fish. Some, oh, here it is, here it is. So this is the salted fish. This is what I'm actually smelling and it's making my mouth water. Wait a second, that's a salted octopus. A dried octopus. Wow! It's 700 rupees a pound. Oh, and look, look, little shrimp things. Tiny little dried shrimps. This is the bigger shrimp. And this is the slightly smaller one. The ones with the shells still on. And of course, you can get made food at the market as well. Ricky mentioned that you were smelling some rotis and here they are cooking them. They actually mix them here. Roll them out. And onto the fire. Cauliflower in Mauritius. 40 rupees a piece. You grow it here. Okay, from Mauritius, not imported. I suppose you know which guy is going to be your guy that supplies what things. If you want to get this, you come to this guy. You learn the people that you like. A lot of people selling the same things at the same price, but they all look like they're busy. Okay, here's something interesting, a piece of fresh coconut for 10 rupees, that's cool, and your lemons, this is specifically a merchant thing, these are small limes, one is 20 rupees, three or 50. Loads of fruits, all looking beautiful, haven't seen this before, fresh strawberries. So this is something you see quite a lot of, because you obviously can't buy a whole mass of pumpkin, but you can buy this whole piece for 15 rupees, very cool. I don't know if I showed this already, but five rupees a pound for tomatoes. Five rupees. These are cooking tomatoes, but they're only five rupees. These will make a great sauce for sure. Five rupees a pound, which is like 10 rupees a kilo, lift them up and turn them into a nice pasta sauce. Nyam or curry. This is where the salted fish is. There's tons of it here. Whole salted fish. And more octopus. Wow! Five rupees each for eggs. Nice. Do you buy the eggs or do you have chickens? Yeah. Okay. Chickens. It actually smells quite nice. <laughs> so we're about at the halfway point of the market. There's loads of it extending that way. But wait, let me spin you around a bit. And we're about to go downstairs into a whole other section. Wow. 
30 rupees per quarter pound for these nice big green chilies. Today actually is the veg market, but you can still get some, some other things. There are some feeding products that you can get as well. And of course, street snacks. Market snacks. <laughs> There's some beetroot, 15 rupees or 20 rupees a pound. Is that coriander? Coriander, five rupees. Wow. This is actually ingredients for bullet. Wow, and you can come here and she actually makes it herself here. Wow. Oh, and that looks like hackin. Hackian. Nice spices. And also there's some shoes. So you can get some shoes. <laughs> Tuesday, Friday is clothing and Wednesday, Saturday is the vegetable section. Every other day closed. Every other day closed. Don't come. At the back end of the market is where the meats are. It's not a big meat section. This is some fish and she's actually chopping some at the moment. Wow. Very professional, you can get fresh chicken. Gary is actually prepping a tuna steak. He'll actually come and chop it up for you and just give you the meat so no skin on it. That's how you chop a tuna in half. <laughs> how do you still have all of your fingers? <laughs> That's great skill. This is some fresh chicken. It is generally completely fine to buy foods and everything from the market because everybody here has to have a food handler's license and be trained in food safety. So if you're fancying a bit of a day out or a day away from the beach, hop over to Goodlands Market and experience a little bit of local culture, get some street food, support the, the local farming working community. And when you're getting thirsty, Aluda and fruit juice, nice and cold. You can get some noodles for 20 rupees and they come in a pound. I've never actually seen this, but this is actually fresh tofu. 15 rupees for one. And the guy makes it himself right here. Okay, so you can occasionally take a break from the hustle and bustle inside and skirt around the outside to get to quicker to another area of the market. Here's some actual fresh fish and also some prawns. This in here behind me is the actual market. This is the actual market area. But outside there are always, it always attracts a lot of other things to be sold. So a lot of other stands, noisy motorbikes, all sorts of interesting things being sold. The market is quite easy to find. This is the main road that runs through Goodlands and the market is just off there. So if you can find your way to this complex, you can actually go through. So right through there is another way into it. So there you are, shortcut into the market. And if you don't want to eat on the go, there's some nice little snack places all around the market with places to sit and eat food. If you don't want to eat any of the street foods but you're just coming for the experience and still want a, a KFC, there is a KFC right here. If you can find the KFC, you can easily find the market. It's just across the road. This is the Mauritian Kessel and Water. Grinding your spices and coconut and things, making chutneys. This is a biryani guy and he's my favorite guy in the whole of Mauritius because he's got a sign above him. <laughs> veg biryani. Veg biryani. Vegetarian. Uh, chicken biryani. And chicken biryani and obviously people are hungry. You can actually get deer at the market as well. The hunting season for deer is from June to September. Yeah. So between June until the end of September, you can come get fresh deer at the market. 175, one pound. That's a very good price. Yeah, fresh. Plants, little mini succulents, everything. This is the Goodlands bus station, bus terminal. Place where buses come and people leave to go to places. And the market is just right through there. These are the toilets, very easy to find. But they have weird opening gates. <laughs> it depends on when you come. So right here, at the bus stop. For accessibility, I wouldn't recommend coming in a wheelchair with a pram. There seems to be a lot of steps and uneven ground everywhere. If you're coming by car, the best parking is right here. Uh, but it is on dirt and it does fill up and make sure that you park so you can get out because people do park you in. Look everyone, they're building a new sugar mill. <laughs> no, this is the home of the new Goodlands Market coming February 2022. Goodlands Market, a great place to experience local culture, buy some fresh veggies or just have a great day out. I'd just like to say thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.